Okay. Been away for a while. Uh, this shit popping off, you know. Quarantine, this and that. So I decided to make a Philly cheesesteak. My my version. I added green peppers, which is not the original. And I don't have a hoagie roll. I had a panini for my G. So some fries and some la moreno. Pickled jalapenos. Oh my god, that's so very good. Look at that. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put some fries in there. Oh, it's falling out. Mmm. Stick this piece back in. Yeah. So good. Oh my god. Mmm. No. Mmm. Fried some fries and put some A and W seasoning on it. Okay, let's do it. Alright, let's go. Come on, Trace. Don't be shy. Get the bite you know you want to do. Mm. Mm. There's something I wake up. Mm. Three hours ago. Really good. Mm. Ah, look at it. It's soft because I don't have the hoagie. I had a panini, but make do, right? Mm. And <laughs> make a drip. Sixties. <laughs> oh, Sorry. <clears throat> really good. Really good. I knew I put French fries in it. So. So. Salute, a shot of Havana rum. So I'll tell you guys a little bit about me. Pasifarian chef, 38. <laughs> I could pass for younger, but I live in the 514. In the CA. <clears throat> so good. Mm. Um, after high school. I went to cooking school. 
And that's it. I've been cooking for... <laughs> 20 years, I think, yeah. yeah. Well, I'd say 19 then. I graduated in 2000. Y2K. <laughs> and... <clears throat> worked for my family's restaurant <clears throat> and been going at it ever since. I love it. I love it. I'm not a computer person. I'm not a PR. I'm not into fashion. Hmm. I'm not into numbers. Well, I'm into catering numbers. <laughs> Revenue for, my, <laughs> for food, but I think that's really big, you know? Food is what made me happy and being able to please people with my hands through their palate. That's what drives me pretty much every day. Yeah. Sit down, dog. Sit down. Sorry. <laughs> Sit down. Mmm, best breakfast. Mmm, best breakfast ever. Now, <clears throat> I started my YouTube channel, YouTube channel like three years ago. Just doing my friends, but in and out, in and out. Had a lot going on in my life. And wasn't able to do the dedication of uploading every week to be where most YouTubers are, you know? Um, I am a single parent of an 11-year-old Avalon, which you see on my channel. And I run a business. I run a restaurant. I am the um, executive chef there, manager, everything, everything you want. And yes, it's my brother-in-law's restaurant, so. But, I am committed, and I love it. I love food. Although, I did try a different career path when I became pregnant, and I don't know if you guys know, but even now, or 10 years ago, it's hard for companies to trust um, single parent homes of young children to give them a really good job because they know that they, the, the, the child might be you know, sick and the mom would have to say, I'm this and that. So I know I had a lot of problems finding a really decent job. Outside of cooking, but I found one through a bank up, I think, and I worked in the transport industry, importing and exporting containers from around the world to wherever I was. Now, I learned my lesson there. Just because you make a lot of oh, son of a bitch, hold on. That's because you make a lot of money in certain jobs. If you don't like it and it's not your passion, you will start to feel the effects. Hold on. I'm going to bust a taco move and just squirt all this shit. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Hold on. Watch me. Watch me. Mm. It's all going on the same too. Pestiferian way. Ah. Watch me now. I don't know. Mm. 
I was saying, if you don't, if you don't like the job you're doing, but you get paid a million dollars a year or less, it's going to show up and you're not going to feel it. And I took the job for my, for my kid's sake to do normal hours because in the restaurant industry you do long hours, you do weekends, you do holidays because that's when families want to go and eat. And I didn't want to not be there raising my child to have one. So I made the sacrifice to work at a place that I wasn't too happy for a couple of years just to get myself afloat. A couple places, two different places, you know? And then at one point when she was in daycare and I realized she was going to go to grade one soon, I switched up. I went back into the field that I loved and everything bloomed from there. I've never been happier. I don't make the same money that I did when I was working for a transport company. Hell no. I work longer hours, but you know what? I wake up every morning and I'm happy. I see what it's like when you go work for a company and it's 10, 15, 20 years and you realize you weren't happy. The stress shows on your face. It, it shows on your face, you know? And you become bitter towards other people that are successful, are being happy every day, or going to work saying, yeah, I love my job, and you're sitting there saying, well, I fucking hate my job. But what can I do about it? You can change it. <laughs> change it. At the end of the day, <clears throat> the stress of working for a company that you're not happy at for 10, 15, 20 years, what that does internally to your soul and to your mind can't be reversed. Oh. We all have one life to live, so. <laughs> um, make wise decisions, you know? I'm not saying, you know, money doesn't make the world go around. <laughs> it fucking does. <laughs> but you need to find you need to find the right balance for yourself. And I, I found that balance. Yeah, it's tough sometimes, but at my age now, I'm not going back. I'm only going to go forward. And I'm at that point in my life where my kid's going to high school soon, and she has a well-established foundation so I can concentrate on myself and, you know, mm, my career. That's one of the sacrifices I had to make when I became a mom. And I wouldn't change it for anything because I was only blessed with one, you know? So, it's a little, little intro about who the pacifarian chef is, Tracy. My father's from Jamaica, my mother's from Italy. I was born here in Quebec. They both emigrated from the countries here. My auntie first taught me how to cook. She was brought down from Jamaica to come take care of me when I was a baby. Well, we have a really good one. I went through cooking school and my grandfather, I really infused the Jamaican and Italian side together. So, I hope you guys subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. I will be putting up more soon. And I hope you guys stay blessed, stay safe, and one love. Bless up.